And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now on the hill here today. Alex Cobb. How about a report on him, Chris? Well, oh, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. games. And at this well, point, me. you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. And there's a foul ball. First pitch, seven sixteen. The wind of the pitch. Right side, Estrada whips it to first, yep, and a quick out number one. Got it. Got it. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Outside low. And that is ball one. Fouled off left side. One out, base is empty. The one two. And another ball. Chase that time. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, getting a good look at the pitcher here in the first inning isn't a bad thing. I know he struck out, but you can live with that as long as the other hitters in this lineup can learn something from it. Two out spaces empty. Judge rips that one. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Around second now. Going for three. The relay in there safely. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Two outs with a man at third. Here's Glaber Torres. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. Well, there's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board in the first. Thanks to the three-hole hitter extending the inning. Good at bat with two outs. Two outs. And that one pulled foul. And he'll two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So they pick up a two-out triple, but can't bring. We go to the bottom of the first. Tyro Estrada to the plate. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Rodon, multi-time All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses the first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Austin Slater stands in. Here's your one. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. 
Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that has it at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Bounce to third. Over to Torres. Play made, that ends the inning. Top of the second, and now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Cobb back to work. Cobb, an all-star a season ago. He features a sinker, a splitter, a curve, and he works in a slider. That one ripped. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The relay throw, but he's in there easily. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Jose Trevino. Lined into right. Slide in, and he grabs it. Sliding catches like that are just so smooth, aren't they? It's not always entirely necessary to go down on the ground to make the catch, but I can tell you this. It really can help at times when you get below the ball even a little bit more just to get that good look as it enters your glove. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Outside low, and the count is one and one. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Man, it's second. And another ball. Singing what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Three-two. And he walked him. You know, Bill, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. First pitch misses. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Line, and that's a base hit. Yastrzemski hustles it back in as the go-ahead runner pulls up at third. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Anthony Volpe swings through it for strike one. High fly ball out of the left center field. Yastrzemski makes the grab on the run. Now back. So the batting order turns over. Here's Alex Verdugo. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Fought off foul. Left hand batter waits. That misses the zone. And now it's even one and one. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to third. No, he held up. Now all leave it up. Got it. Huge strikeout there. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. In the air, left field. Verdugo gets under it. Makes the catch for the out. 
Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. Right through there for a strike. No score here in the second. Got him. And there's two away. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Gets him to chase after that one. Come on. Great. Lifted in the air, out to left. Verdugo brings it in for the third out. We'll move back here at Oracle Park. Juan Soto now. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that one is lifted in the air. Yastrzemski sizing this one up. Nabs it. One away. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Hammers that one. Deep left field. And forget it. Aaron Judge leads the yard. His 17th of the year. The Yankees score first. It's 1-0. One, one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. That's just hitting you cannot teach. Incredible. Split finger away. Somehow he got there, hooked it, and got enough barrel. Hit that ball out of the ballpark. That's a very impressive swing. Base is empty one away. Glaber Torres up to hit. And there's the strike. Torres getting the start at second. 27 years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting no, over 300 in his last 10 games. One ball, one strike. And here it comes. There's the swing and a miss. One ball. Two strikes. And another ball. One out. Base is empty and a run in here in game one of this three-game set. Next pitch misses way outside. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Nice yeah, line drive to the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice and off and ripped it into the outfield. Here's Stanton now. Doubled his first time up. Just missed. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. One out, the runner at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Late that time, it's strike two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Right into the play. That Ball. one misses. Two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Man at second. Still two and two after the foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Careful. Off the mark there. Full count now. On the ground at first. Flores steps on the bag. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. And here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. 0 for 1 so far. In the air, left side. Slater gets under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. 
And that'll do it. Yankees draw first blood in a solo shot. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back here in San Francisco. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013 the Giants got him in March of 2019 and San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play next pitch misses and it's two and two and down on strikes Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now Marco Luciano. In the air to left center. Judge getting an angle on it. Snags it for the second out. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Stepping in, Tyro Estrada. And that one's a little bit low. 1 0. Oh. The Yankees up by a run here in the last half of the third. Next offering is downstairs. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Next offering is in for a strike. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Giants. Did. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, the first Anthony baseman. Rizzo. Anthony. The pitch. Not even close okay. there. Ball one. You know, these Yankees showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Sets him down looking. Put the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Ah, the Uncle Charlie boo. Oh, Kept it up his sleeve the entire bat to the sixth pitch. Snapped it off, dropped it in there, and just frozen. What's with the Uncle Charlie nickname? I mean, people use it all the time. Doesn't feel like it's it's common knowledge as to why. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. It bangs off the wall. So up next, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Outside. LeMayhew, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Two away. Good pitch, he just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So the lineup flips over and stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. And that one ripped into right, and that's a fair ball. LeMayhew, round second on his way to third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. And now it's Juan Soto. That's towards center. He's under it. He's got it. And that's the third out. Yeah. Rodon back to work. There's the strike. No ball. One strike. Swing and a miss. And it's a one two. The pitch. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The punch out there. 
And one gone. Jones just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. A couple of hits in a row for him here. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Into the outfield, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that may end up being an bad. We go back to later on when this game is over. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect it. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So first and second with two outs. And digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Giants leave a... And we're back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Aaron Judge. He's already homered in this game. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Line drive, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Now the tag at second, and he's out. Time for two. Got to love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Torres at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Out towards right center field. Soler sizes this one up, makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Swing and a miss, strike one. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And a pitch. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Here Tries to hold up, appeal to first. Nope, he held back. And the pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Stand around second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. Rizzo up to bat next. Lays off for ball. Stan at third. Trevino at second with two gone. And that one lifted in the air center field. He's under it. And that's the third out. Back here at Oracle Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Blake Sable. He handles it himself, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Yastrzemski swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The Yanks leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. That just misses. And a count one and two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Got him swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. I'd well, love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. Two down, nobody on. 
And that one wrapped foul. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Back to the top of the lineup, Tyro Estrada, the next giant to hit. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. The Yankees up by a run here in game one of this three-game set. is over we're back and they make a change to start the sixth the new pitcher Tristan Beck now he's always been hit pretty hard at times this season as you see with the big ERA so this is an important outing for him to get on the right track you know these Yankees simply put are producing a lot of quality swings everything seems to be clicking and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know they're not getting fooled up there at all Swing and a miss. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And first offering is fouled off. Back in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Sends it to Flores. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And a ground ball to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So back here in San Francisco. Now the number two hitter, Austin Slater. That Whoa. one finds the zone. No That's one strike one. the ballpark after this one that was his third strikeout and this one looking obviously so he's been a little overmatched he's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate next offering in there for a strike no balls two strikes it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there next offering is down low Him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. That's in there. 1 1. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. 0 oh, 2 now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Giants go. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Juan Soto. The wind of the pitch. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And now the count is even. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. And that's no, off that's the, the inside edge. And the count is three and one. The line to kick the pitch. That one to first, oh. and it goes just foul. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Yastrzemski on the move. Falls it in for the out. And there's one down. It's Aaron Judge now. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first, and very nicely done for the out. Here is Glaber Torres. 
one for three. And first offering is fouled off. Way out front for strike two. And this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there. Bottom of the inning. Now, here is Matt Chapman. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0-1. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed. Strike three, got him swinging. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And up next for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. Got him swinging. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball. If you're the pitcher, hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Next offer in there for a strike. And that is strike two. Bows it back with two strikes. Holding on to a one-run lead here in game one of this three-game set. Good eye right there. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate. Well. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tyler Rogers. And he's done a great job keeping now, the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack Number up with some of the best in the game. Stan, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Taylor Rogers getting loose out there. Number 74 also throwing. Here comes a pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. In the air, center field. Settles under it. He makes the grab, and there's one away. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Jack Swing went around. That oh, is good. strike two. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. a three up three down and welcome back to the ballpark out of the bottom of the eighth and digging in for San Francisco Mike Yastrzemski swing and a high fly ball down the left field line but hooking foul oh and two now as he swings through it that he is just dialed in right now every pitch thrown with so much conviction Swinging for the K. He's now struck out eight in a row. Now and up next for the Giants, Marco Luciano. Pitch is in for a strike. Going along. Got a good eye there. Home team down a run. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Line, and that's a base hit. That's 
back-to-back -back singles for him. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good hands allowed him to get the barrel to him. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Runner takes off. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Line to left. And it gets down for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. No, oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly yeah, a pivotal that. swing of the no bat in this ball good. game. Maybe a little off front of the pitch right there, but he squared it pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Really important at bat coming up now. Swung up, popped up left side. And it drops in. One runs in, and it will play. He will score, and they take the lead. It's two to one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. One out, runner at second. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Oh. That one finds the zone, and three. it's 0-1. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Huh. Slater stands at second with two gone. Huh. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. Now into the ball game on defense, Tyler Fitzgerald. He's in at shortstop. Number 39, Tyler Camilo Doval comes on trying to close it out. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Aaron Boone making a move for a new bat. Austin Wells. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. And he deals. And fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. And the righty deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Two and one. Next pitch is downstairs. Left hand hitter waits. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Now three and two. Side and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. No outs. Runner at first. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. Substitution now at first base. Pinch running here. Oswald Peraza. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. That one missing inside. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. 
Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Right through there for a strike. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Pickoff throw. Tag, and he's picked off. On this situation, you're pretty eager to try to get that runner up to second base in the scoring position. A lot of good things can happen from there, but clearly not able to get back to first on the pickoff. Nice job by the pitcher. One down, base is empty. Great just ball. misses. And that's ball three. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound trying to get a little bit of an explanation doesn't seem to be too bothered by it though but he clearly thought it clipped the corner it's tough after falling behind a hitter two balls and no strikes but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction the kick in the pitch runner goes down to ball here rolls foul The 0 1. Runner on the go again. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second. Ow! That's just a perfect catch and throw right there. You get a guy with that kind of speed trying to take second. He's got such a good arm back there, but that had to be on the money. Pressure situation, if you will, right on top of it. The Yanks down to their final strike. One and Fastball, two. and he gets out of the way. Lined, and that's a base hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Runner at first with two away. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Oh, the tying run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. And a pitch. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Thank you, man. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. Here comes Aaron Judge, looking to complete the cycle with a double. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse. Then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate, and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. All these players were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs in the top of the ninth. Excellent job of securing your home field and keeping the fans in the ballgame all the way to the end. Nice W all the way around.